I S U P K. because Creflo Dollar got a jet. You know what I mean? He got a private jet. So we'll follow people like that. We'll follow Eddie Long because Eddie Long got a mega church. So you, you'll you think that you, he got the God got to be up in the church because look how many followers he has. All right, read on. I don't want to uh -huh. Destroy and scatter the pet sheep of my pastor. Right, because the, the, Christ, the Christian church, they have, they have scattered the sheep of the Lord's pastor. Because if, if he didn't scatter it, you wouldn't have, you would only have one nation, and that's the nation of Israel. You wouldn't have, you know, uh, I'm a boot, I'm a uh, Baptist, I'm First Baptist, Second Baptist, um, all of these different ideologies if they wasn't scouring the sheep of the flock. All right, read on. Uh, saith the Most High. Uh -huh. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Therefore, thus saith the Most High, uh -huh. the God of Israel. Uh -huh. again, hold on, hold, hold. The God of who? The God of Israel. Now, we have to understand something that the, 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 this Bible is written to and for the Israelites. Right. It's not written to everybody on the whole planet. The planet Earth is not written to everybody. It's written to the Israelites. And the God in this book is the God of Israel. That's All right? right? Let's go ahead. Read on. Against the pastors. Uh -huh. That feed my people. Uh -huh. Now they don't they don't feed us. You know what they feed us? They feed us that God loves everybody. I know everybody heard that. You know when when you walk past anybody, uh, they'll tell you John 3 16, they'll say for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Everybody know that scripture even if you don't even read the Bible because you didn't heard it somewhere from some church or you didn't heard it somebody saying it from some church on TV or whatever and you don't even understand what that, that uh, scripture is even talking about. Right. So we have to understand that that day of being lied to is over, man. Right, right. That's why we out here on the street. We out here, it's bacon out here. And we out here because we love blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that That's much. Right, and we right. Want to come out here, right. You know what I'm saying? And damn near fall over because it's hot out here. You know what I'm saying? We out here to teach the truth to our people. And let me tell you something. The truth is better, man. It's something that a lot of people can't stomach. You know what I mean? They can't really stomach the truth because yeah. it's yeah. so bitter, man. Like, it's sweet to tell you a lie. Right. It's sweet for you to yeah. think that, you know, Santa Claus is going to come down the chimney and bring you a gift. You know what I'm saying? We have to understand that the blacks and Hispanics, man, we brothers. Right. right. And, and, and so is the Native Americans, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean, the blacks and Hispanics because that's who we're dealing with right here. You understand? And it's always about being, being divided. Matter of fact, let me get Psalms 83 and 1. But let me show you something. Let me tell you what King David wrote down. Because he knew this this ain't nothing new. That you know, they been, you ever wonder why every every nation hates black people? You ever wondered that? You ever wonder why if we're the greatest at every single thing out here, basketball, track, boxing, golf, we're the best at everything. We're the best actors. We're the best whatever you want to uh, put up there. We're the best at everything, but yet we're the we're the, the nation that's on the bottom of everybody. It's not a mistake that when you go down in, in West Side or you go over the North Side, every single um, store is owned by an Arab. 
Every single gas station is owned by an Arab or an East Indian. That's not, that's not uh, a coincidence. This is something that these nations have always done to the children of Israel. Right. They've always been against us together. See, they're together against us. That's why a Chinese man can come here, he can come here and he can get a store only, after only being in America for 10 years. He can have a store, a Chinatown, they can have all of those things. You know why? Because their leaders don't kiss the white man's ass all day. That's right. That's right. And ours do. Right. That's why we on the bottom. Right. We want to think that God loves every everybody while you're the ones getting killed in the streets. Right. The cop, you think that it's oh, it's not never going to be over. It's not going to be over until we wake up and start following the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's the one thing that the Lord requires of us. It's the one thing that He requires for us to do to get out of this slavery that we in. Now you see these brothers back here, we decided to follow the commandments because we tried everything else. You think that we wouldn't be here if we tried everything else? We tried Pan-Africanism, we tried Islam, we tried everything. But you know what? Those things don't give you no identity. They don't give you nothing. All they do is lead you back to another nation. All right, let me get Psalms 83 and 1. Let me show y'all how deep it is. All right, read on. The book of Psalms 83, verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep not thou silence, uh -huh. oh God. Right, keep, now this is the prayer that uh, King David said, and you know what? This is like one of the heaviest things, and we say it on every Saturday at the Sabbath class, man, because what? it's one of the prayers that's just so heavy, man, and when you can really get it in your spirit, man, it'll it'll make you uh, understand how deep it really is, all right? Now let's go ahead, read that, read that thing nice and strong. I don't God. Uh-huh. Keep not thy silence, oh God. Uh-huh. Hold not thy peace. Right, uh-huh. And be not still, uh -huh. O God. Uh-huh, read on. Verse 2. Uh-huh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Uh-huh, thine enemies make a tumult. Read on. And they, and they hate thee. Uh-huh, and they hate the Lord. They hate the Lord. All these other nations, they really hate the Lord. Because the reason that you think that they love the Lord is because the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks about. Yes, right. that's, why you, that's why you think that he's all about God. You think that God is up in these churches and you think the white man is somehow going to wake up and start loving us. We have to understand that we have to separate ourselves. Right. Right. Just as a sidebar, all you got to do is pay attention to the animals. Do you see giraffes hanging out with monkeys? You don't see monkeys hanging out with camels. You don't see camels hanging out with uh, lions, do you? Every animal in the wild, they stick to their own. You know why? Because they understand that their survival lies within dealing with their own. All right. right? That's what happens. That's what animals understand. A lot of people, they're like, man, you know, why are the animals walking? All the animals are leaving the forest and walking that way. So when people see that, they're like, well, what's going on? Yeah, sometimes you got to look at the animals and listen to the animals. Because if you could, if the animals could talk, they would tell you that the white man is the devil. That's right. They really right. would. That's in the scriptures. Right. Well, let's go ahead. Let's get back into that. How do I come? Uh huh. And they that hate thee uh -huh. have lifted up the head. Read on. Verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Crafty counsel, man. You know how that is. Crafty counsel, man, is like they they figuring out how can we deal with these people? How can we really cut them off? You know, when you, now, uh, that's kind of hard for, you know, so-called black people to really understand because, when, you know, we like to chill. We go home, man, after a hard day's work, man, and we trying to chill in the AC. We ain't trying to, you know, figure out how we can get exterminated a nation of people. You're right. We're not trying to figure out how we can, you know, just do people dirty. That's not what we do because that's not in our spirit, man. Right. All right? So let me read on. Read on. How do I cut? Uh-huh. They have taken crazy counsel against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. they can, now who's the Lord's hidden ones? It's us. The Israelites, we're the hidden ones because don't nobody know that we're the Israelites. The people at the top, they know that we're the Israelites, but these white people out here, they stupid. They don't know nothing. They watch Fox News and that's how they get their whole interpretation of how the world is moving. They watch CNN. They will never understand the plight of a black man. That's why a, a, a black man could never, should never marry a white woman. That's right. right. That white woman will never understand the plight of your people, man. Right. And when right. you do that, you forsake your, uh, your ancestors. Right. All right, read on. Let's read, let's get some more into that. That's right. Uh -huh. Psalms 83, verse 4. Uh -huh. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh, right. So now, is that, does that really even have to be broken down? Because when you ask, you, know, you could ask 10 black people, so-called blacks, what's their nationality? And they'll tell you, I'm Asiatic, I'm African-American, 
Some some people even say they spiritual. <laughs> you know, some people even say they spiritual. Right. What does that mean? Some people say it doesn't matter about nationality. But you ask a white man, what's his nationality? He'll tell you I'm 116 um, uh, uh, Irish. I'm a, another 116 German. He'll tell you everything because he understands who he is and where he comes from. Right. So they cut us off. Read on. From being a nation. Uh huh that the name of Israel mm -hmm. may be no more in remembrance. No more what? No more in remembrance. See, we don't remember Israel. We don't remember that. That's why we walking around, we like, well, well I guess we'll just be, uh, I guess, what, what are we gonna be in the next two years? We, we not even gonna be African-Americans anymore. They just gonna say, uh, I don't know, man. We done been Afro-Americans, we done been everything. We done been black, we done been niggas, to uh, uh, Jigaboos, Coons, Darkies, we done been everything except for what we're supposed to be, which is the nation of Israel. That's right. <laughs> That's why we jammed up. That's why we don't have no sense of who we are or where we're going out here. But if you want the righteous leadership, you're it's right here. This is the righteous leadership. The leadership that's not gonna, you know, sell you out to the white man for well, some sort of a trinket. So you know what I'm saying? If you want that righteous leadership, it's right here in our SUPK. Just get, just get a uh, flyer. We got free classes and we got online classes. We'll go ahead and read, read on. Uh -huh. For they have consulted together with one consent. Uh -huh. They are confederate against thee. They're all on one consent. These are the nations, they're all on one consent. The Chinese, the Arabs, everybody. The East Indians, they're all on one consent with the white man. And read on. Con. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom. That's all the white people on the earth. It doesn't matter if you're German, if you're a white man that speaks German, you a white man that's in Czechoslovakia, you a white man that's in America, you a white man that's in Australia, you a white man in the North Pole, wherever, the, wherever you at, you're still a white man. It doesn't matter what language you're speaking. Right. All right, read on. The tabernacles of, of Edom. Uh-huh. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites, the Arabs. Look around, go to any hood. The Arabs, they on every single block in the hood. Right. And try to get away with not, try to get away with not having a, a, a nickel. Try to be a nickel short and see if they let you get that, uh, that black and mild or that blunt you trying to get. See if they let you get it. All right, read on. Uh, mm -hmm. Of Moab. Of Moab, that's, a, that's the biblical name for the Chinese people. Now you see what this Bible is breaking down? It's breaking down everybody who is against you. Right. This book is a black man's book. That's right. right. The, the, the Bible is breaking down everybody that has a head, head of hand in your destruction. That's right. And they got something right and just coming from the Lord. And you know what that is? It's death. Right. It's right. slavery. Right. We've been in slavery for 500 years, but the white man, he gonna get it for a thousand years. Right. And all these other nations that have a head of hand in the detriment of the Israelites. All right, read on. Let's find out some more people that got something to do with it. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines. That's another form of Arabs. Right? Read on. Verse 7. The Baal and Ammon. Uh -huh, that, the Ammon. That's the, uh, the Japanese. That's the Japanese. So you have to understand that in the Bible, there's no such thing as a Japanese. They're, they have biblical names just like you do. So when you look in the Bible, you got to understand which, which biblical name are you. Where do you come from in the Bible? Because the Bible has a record of all the nations that are on the earth. That's right. right. Read on. And Amalek. And Amalek, man, those are the fake Jews that's in Jerusalem right now with the curly things on the side. That's, that's Amalek. They the ones who run these banks right here. Wilmington Trust, all these banks that's around here, they all Jewish. Right. Jewish people, they own all the, uh, the NFL teams. They own all the NHL teams, all the baseball teams, all those major teams, those uh, professional basketball teams, they're owned by uh, Jewish, Amalek. All right, read on. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. The Philistines, those are the Africans. Because the one thing that they told you growing up was that Africans sold other Africans. <laughs> that's the short answer. Right. That's the, that's the short answer. Africans sold other Africans in the story, and you know, that still doesn't give you no sense of who you are. No, let me tell you what happened. The Africans sold, uh, they sold the, the so-called um, black man that's in America right now. That's who the Africans sold. They sold us to the white man, along with the Arabs. All right, read on. Verse eight, Assur also is joined with them. Assur, that's the Assyrians. The Assyrians, they also join with the rest of the nations. They also join with the rest of the nations. Read on, that's it. 
they have opened the children of Lot. Uh -huh. So Lot. You can, drop, you can drop that. All right, let me get our Psalms 85 and 11. Uh -huh. See, that's the one thing that we have to understand. You got it? Uh -huh. That's the one thing we have to understand because see, they trying to, they trying to suppress this truth out here. They trying to suppress the truth right now. That's why when you look on Facebook, they took away the share button. They took that away because they trying to slow the truth down. When you watch like all these, um, when you watch like, uh, like when, when, we, when people go out to like protest at these different events and stuff, it's a media blackout because they don't want, like when the Israelites, when we go out to like, you know, Ferguson and stuff like that, they don't, they, when they see us, they turn the camera this way. And they go to the, they, they trying to look at like, you know, people out there that's trying to hold hands with white people. That's what they want to show on the net, but they on the on the TV, but they don't want to show the Israelites on there because they know that if once we start getting on the airways, man, it's th things are going to change out here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have righteous leadership. Somebody that's not going to sell you out to the goddamn white man. Right. Until he come through with his white woman and his money, right. drugs, and things of this world that don't mean a damn thing. Right. Ain't it time for that? Right. Every nation, like, look around. This is the, this is the the price of integration. The price of integration, you paying it right now because you're standing out here waiting on a bus. you standing out here forever waiting on a bus. If we had our own bus system, we wouldn't even be waiting like that. We had That's the best right. bus system. Right. You know what I mean? There'd be, right. be white people trying to catch the bus. Right. You right. know what I mean? And all the rest of these nations. But we have to understand, you know, what's really going on out here, man. We don't have, we don't have no neighborhood, no black neighborhood. There's no such thing. I, I was bringing that out the other day. There ain't no such thing as a black neighborhood because we don't own none of the businesses. We don't own none of the houses that we live in. All the police are white. You understand? All we are are the slaves. They're still there. And we commit the crimes. So then it seems to warrant more police. They don't actually fix the problem. They just give you more police officers. And then as soon as you try to, you know, and it ain't no such thing as like trying to, you know, reason with the devil. He pulled you over, Fernando Castile, he still had his seatbelt on. He still had the seatbelt on and they, the cops still killed him because he feared for his life. But damn, he, he still had the seatbelt on. So you can't even be compliant with these devils. You can't even do it. And our leaders, they have always sold us out. That's right. These is, these is curses that we living out. This is punishment. That's right. That's right. This punishment ain't no joke, man. We tried everything to get out of the punishment, but we don't, we don't want to do what the Bible actually says. That's right. A lot of people, they say they are of God, but they're really not. They say that they they, they love God and they, they all in the churches every single week. You know what I'm saying? That, that's not um, what's going to free black people and Hispanics. All that's going to do is divide people because like when you when you look at all these different religions out here, you know, you got, you know, you got 10 different, uh, you got 10 different um, churches on the block. And ain't none of them together. This, this church is agnostic, this church is Baptist, this church is Pentecostal. You know what I'm saying? So we have to understand that we have to come back to our true nationality, which is the nation of Israel. That's right. All right, let me get uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. So we have to understand these things that's going on out here. That's why we're here. See, when the truth about the Bible comes out, a lot of people try to say that it's racist and it sounds racist. You know what I mean? That, that's what they try to say. Well, you guys, you got a black KKK. Damn, we the black KKK. We ain't hung nobody. Right, right, right. We haven't hung nobody. But that's it. We the KKK. I mean, come on now. This is stupid. This is this is what they say to anybody who tries to come together with um, with, with this, this is what they say to any time black people want to come together. And you know what? We have to understand that our survival lies within our own people. That's right. All right, read that. Uh, and this is for this is for uh, this is for people that say, you know, why are we out here on the street? You know what I'm saying? Te uh, teaching, you know what I mean? All this hate. This is what they try to say is hate. This hate. This is what y'all teaching hate. This is what they. This is what the Bible says to us that we're being out here. Book of Ecclesiastes, seven verse seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. What you say? Surely oppression. Make it a wise man mad. Man, I'm mad, man. I'm mad because of right. because surely oppression will make you mad. You know what I mean? You think that you might be getting away. You're not getting away. We all under oppression. A lot of a lot of uppity Negroes think because you in the suburbs, you ain't under oppression anymore. And a lot of times we sell ourselves out so bad to the white man, it's homosexual, man. I'm not the slave. It's the way that these 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 uh 
that they, these brothers sell out to white people and kiss white people's ass so hard is damn near homosexual. Right. You know what I'm saying? We have to, we have, that's things that we have to change. And that's because we don't have the leadership. Our leadership has always brought us, man. We don't have no leadership out here. Right, we don't, we don't. But you gotta read it one more time from the top. Alright. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. That's what we have to understand. Now that's why we out here, because oppression will make you mad. If you're not mad at oppression, then you're not wise. You have to understand that. All right, let me get to my one to 10. Uh, Oppression will make a wise man mad because if you're not mad, then what are, what are you out here doing? You're just going, to, you're just going to, uh, to work every day and you think that that's what life is all about. It's just going to work, I got a good job and I just don't want to be bothered with anybody. We have to understand that we got to stop being selfish with, with each other. We have to stop being selfish and we have to start coming together and loving each other. If we just, if we just apply one law to love their brother as thyself, man, this whole ghetto would change overnight. That's right. We don't we don't need the, we don't need any other nation to help us get free. We good right in it right in the hood. We good. We got everything we need right there. Right. You see what I'm saying? We have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, because that's the only way that we're gonna get free. Right. All right. Let me get let me get our Jeremiah one and ten. Con, the uh -huh. book of Jeremiah, mm -hmm. chapter one, verse ten. Mm -hmm. See. I have this day set thee over the nations. Uh, over the nations, because we, we we have to understand something, right? Even though that we on the bottom, and I understand, and, and you know, that's one thing you have to understand. Even though we on the bottom, we're still over all these nations. We're still over all these races of people that's on this earth. Right. We're the greatest people on earth. We have to understand, even though you on the bottom, you still, the Lord still sees you over all these other nations. That's right. Read on. Right. And over the kingdom uh -huh. to root out. To root out. Now, what are we out here to do? We out here to root out lies, man. We out here to root out every single lie that any Christian pastor came and told you. Right. That's what we out here to do. Right. We out here to tell them that they don't know what the hell they, what they talking about in the Bible. We have to understand that. And that's what we out here to do. We out here to root out those lies. Read on. And to pull down. And what are we pulling down? We pulling down those strongholds that got strong, you know, we pulling down those things that got strongholds on our people. Like Egyptology and, and Christianity and Islam and Crips and Bloods and, you know, every single thing, drugs. And the white Jesus, the water, sir. And the white, where he at? Right over here. And the white Jesus, that's what we, that's what we pulling down and we rooting out. That's right. Because the time has come, like, it's, it, that day is over. Thinking that Christ is white and, and all of that, that day is over, man. When in the Bible, Christ is a black man. Right. You understand? Those days is over. We rooting out all those things and pulling down those strongholds that got a stronghold on our on our people's mind. Read on. And to destroy. Right, and to destroy. Because when you come up against this Bible, you're always going to get destroyed because you can't hold no weight. That's why with Egyptology, when Egyptologists get up, they can't do nothing but try to attack the Bible because they don't have nothing to stand on. They, I've never seen none of them stand on the laws of my eye. I never seen none of them talk about those, you know, those uh, homosexual tomb inscriptions. I never hear none of them talk about that. But all they want to do is just bash the Bible all day and ask a million questions about what I believe. You understand? So that's what we gotta destroy. That's what we destroying out here. All right, read on. And to throw down, right? And to throw down all these philosophies out here. Everybody got a damn philosophy. Reading books are from Malachi York and all these other people out here from trauma lessons and everything, man. This, come on, man. We got to we got to throw down all these things, all right? And we got to come back to the Bible because the Bible is the black man's history. Right. This is our constitution. Right. We out here celebrating July 4th when we was in captivity in 1776. That's right. We in captivity in 70, 1776, so we out here celebrating the white man's independence from other white people. Right. You understand how lost we are in white people? Now, surely oppression make a wise man mad. That's, That's right. right. You have to understand, this Bible, it, it gives you your moral compass and which, how you should conduct yourself and how you should live your life. It has everything you need right here. It has it all. The problem is that the, the people that have had the Bible for a thousand years haven't taught it to you the correct way. That's right. Our leaders, they don't they don't teach the Bible. They close it up and just ask you for offerings. And I seen the other night, Captain Tower, they was selling Miracle Spring Water for 1999. They, they said it was 1999 Miracle. You know, you know those uh, uh, TV evangelists that come on at four o'clock in the morning. They were selling Miracle Spring Water like, Oh man, it's ridiculous, man. 
for 19.99 too. It was just, it's just straight uh, it's like for tap water. <laughs> wow. It's just straight tap water for twenty dollars. Man, so you can you can get rich off of just a couple of cases of water from you know uh, Family Dollar. You know that's that's how less they think of our people because they understand in our disparity. You know what I'm saying and how um, dire our situation is. You know what I mean? They try to offer us some hope through prosperity. But with how you're going to get that prosperity is coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You got to see what's behind that other door. That's the thing that we always never try to do. We always try to go around and go through the hallway and come out and go out around the back and without seeing what's, what we really have to do to see what's behind door number two. And I guarantee you, when you when you decide to see what's behind door number two, you'll understand. You know what I mean? Who your true nationality is and what you was called to do by the Most High. Right.